Welcome to another video. For today's video, we are going to answer another set of questions from MetroBank MTAP Math Challenge 2016 and I'm going to show you the different tricks and techniques to answer the following question. On number 1, arrange the following numbers from least to greatest. That is 15%, 0 0.1, and 3 over 25. So how can we arrange the following numbers from least to greatest? So basically, you are going to change the given into fraction and then divide. But this time, let us have 15%. 15% in fraction, that is 15 over 100. And 0 0.1 in fraction, that is 10 over 100. What about 3 over 25? So how can we make 3 over 25 as 100 in the denominator? So definitely, you are going to multiply this one by 4 over 4 in order for us to have the same denominator. So 3 times 4, that is 12. And then 25 times 4, that is 100. So therefore, we can easily identify the following into list to greatest. But if you are going to write your answer, you are going to write the original given. So basically, the list here, that is 0 0.1 followed by 3 over 25, and then we have 15%. So this will be our answer. On number 2, a box contains red, blue, and yellow balls with a ratio of 3 to 6 to 10. If there are 42 blue balls, how many are yellow? So to identify the number of yellow balls, let us identify the given. So this problem is an example of ratio and proportion. So let us have here red, and then we have blue, and then we have yellow. With a ratio of 3 is to 6 is to 10. Since we have 42 blue balls, let us write 42 here. And let us represent yellow as X and red as Y. So to find the value of yellow balls, let us have 6 over 42 equals 10 over X. 6 over 42 can be written as 1 over 7. Because 6 and 42, the greatest common factor is 6. And then, let us cross multiply. 1 multiplied by x, that is x. And then 10 times 7. So the value of x is 70. So the number of yellow balls is 70. And this will be our answer. On number 3, if 3% of a number is 18, what is 20% of twice the number? So to answer this question, let us represent x as the number. And then, let us write the given. 3% that is 0 0.03. So our first equation will be 0 0.03 x equals 18 because 3% of a number is 18. So let's divide this one by 0 0.03. Let's cancel this one. So x is 18 divided by 0 0.03. That is 600. And then to identify what is 20% of twice the number, so let us multiply 600 by 2 because of this statement that is twice the number. So that is 600 multiplied by 2, that is 1,200. And what is 20% of 1,200? And that is 240. And this will be our answer. For number 4, if x equals negative 1, find the value of x raised to x plus x raised to x squared. 
So to simplify the given expression, let us identify the given. That is x raised to x plus x raised to x squared. So let us substitute the value of x that is negative 1 raised by negative 1 plus negative 1 raised to negative 1 squared. So if you are going to simplify negative 1 raised to negative 1, that is negative 1. And then let us have negative 1 negative 1 raised to 2, that is 1. So to simplify, negative 1 plus negative 1 raised to 1, that is negative 1. So our answer will be negative 1 plus negative 1, that is negative 2. And this will be our answer. On number 5, what is q of x in x plus 2 times q of x plus 4x plus 2 equals x cubed plus 5x squared plus 9x. So to find the value of q of x, let us have x plus 2 multiplied by q of x plus 4x plus 2 equals x cubed plus 5x squared plus 9x. Let us move this one on the other side. It will give us x plus 2 times q of x equals x cubed plus 5x squared plus 9x minus 4x minus 2. And then let us simplify. Let us have x plus 2 times q of x. Then let us write x cubed and 5x squared. 9x minus 4x, that is 5x. Let us write negative 2. And then let us divide the whole equation by x plus 2. Let us cancel this one. So to divide this one, let us have x cubed plus 5x square plus 5x minus 2 divide by x plus and then, x cubed divided by x, that is x squared. And then, x squared times x, that is x cubed. And then, x squared times 2, that is 2x squared. And then, let us subtract. Let us cancel this one. 5x squared minus 2x squared, that is 3x squared. Let us bring down 5x. And then, let us have... 3x squared divided by x, that is 3x. And 3x times x, that is 3x squared. And 3x times 2, that is 6x. And then let us subtract. Let us have here. Let us cancel this one. 5x minus 6x, that is negative x. Let us bring down negative 2. And then, negative x divided by x, that is negative 1. And negative 1 times x plus 2, that is x, or negative x, minus 2. And then let us subtract, it will give us 0. So therefore, the value of q of x is x squared plus 3x minus 1. And this will be our answer. So I hope you will learn from this lesson. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.